I don't know what you do. So legal services is a great example of being in the content business. So let me explain where I'll go with you on this. Legal services. I'm gonna give you an example of Guinness Beer. Guinness Beer had a problem about 60 years ago. They had pub sales decline in the UK for the first time ever. And they're like, what are we gonna do? They went and did old school market research and surveyed people in bars. And they found out the two biggest things that people talked about were soccer and trivia. So they created the Guinness Book of World Records. So I don't know how many of you know that. I didn't know this until even a year ago. I'm just curious. How many people had no idea that Guinness Beer started Guinness Book of World Records? So what they did was they started a media company to solve their problem. I would tell you in legal services that if you're, if you're focused on a certain genre, that in this book, and I spend a little time on it, it's a whole other book and a genre, I believe, I'm gonna make a pretty big statement that I want everybody to wrap their head around. I believe every person in this room right now and the organizations that you're involved in, whether business-wise, NGO, whatever you do, every one of you and it are in the media business. I now believe that you're in the media business, comma, legal services. I'm in the media business, comma, agency, comma, wine. It's why I started my wine show. So I actually think what you need to seriously consider in this world is to become a media company, meaning put out content, long form, around not necessarily legal, but the kind of things that interest the people that you're trying to court, and then in a buzzfeed.com way where you have no ads, but every fifth post is a, is a native ad, think of it as advertorial 2.0. Think about you, this is very rogue, so I know it's gonna be tough to digest, but I wanna pitch you something. Think about you starting a golf website, right? Literally covering golf competing against Golf Digest, and that every seventh post was promoting your business. I actually believe that that is going to be a blueprint of people doing business, that they're gonna start creating media and content around the interest of the target that they're trying to recruit for their business. Over here to the left, the question. And I know it's left field, but I can see, you know, it's, it's, it's listen, I, I just wanna stick on this because it's such a big point, and I think it's the next decade. The thought that we have to be in the media business because the cost of entry is zero. And not truly zero, but in comparison to starting Golf Digest or the Golf Network by putting a golfdaily.com on WordPress and then producing micro content to drive traffic, the cost of entry is so low. Thus, getting those use, so it gets, it's a very interesting thing. I've been testing it. It's remarkable. We're launching our first ever. We have a cracker and we're launching the leading cheese review site of the internet in March, and we're gonna, be, by building that, it's gonna be a gateway to the cracker, and we don't necessarily want them to match the cracker and the cheese, it's just that we wanna elevate the brand equity of the cracker, and by doing it with high-end cheese, it will do that for us. But that's the kind of stuff, and that's owning the media instead of buying banner ads on the media.